Hello, uh, I'm Mark Deutschman, the founding director of the CU School of Medicine's Rural Program. I'm a professor in the Department of Family Medicine and also am Associate Dean for Rural Health for the medical school. The idea behind the rural track, which, which is how we founded it in 2005, was to identify students who mostly who are from rural communities, although not necessarily, and find those who are interested in returning or going to a rural community once they finish their training. Hello, my name is Devonte Keyoung, and I'm a second year medical student. My name is Divya Kling, and I'm a second year medical student. My name is Shay Claflin. I'm a fourth year medical student uh, here at CU. Hi, I'm Jamie Fall, and I'm a second year medical student. We have students who apply to the CU School of Medicine because of the rural program, because they know that we um, will foster and support their goals. I read through the information and saw like how the opportunity to go into a rural area for like the entire year, especially with the new curriculum, I was like, I would, I'd like to give this a shot. And so I got my shot. Once the medical school starts, the students in the rural program have essentially the same curriculum that everybody else has with some variations. First of all, during the first year, uh, when they're on campus, we get together with them for a couple hours um, most weeks of the month um, to do seminars and workshops, all of which try to bring a rural focus to what they're learning in their regular curriculum. So now you can take fish hooks out of people painlessly, or almost painlessly. <laughs> My favorite part of the rural program so far is all the hands-on workshops we get to do as first years, and I know all of my other first-year classmates are super jealous. I don't know if that's allowed for me to say, but... The second year is the core clinical year, and all of our students in the medical school are in a longitudinal integrated uh, curriculum, but the students in the rural program serve that entire core clinical year in a rural community in Colorado. We have our relationships with rural communities and preceptors all around the state, so um, we tell these rural communities that our school, that our program is their farm team for their future medical staff, and they really embrace that. I had the opportunity to, uh, for example, some of my days I would spend the mornings rounding on patients in the hospital and then I would run over to clinic uh, and then from clinic I would go to the OR to do the C-section and just having that flexibility um, to build my experience how I wanted it to be was pretty awesome. We really make sure our students are well taken care of, um, so we really try to support them um, provide them with a family feel. Hi, I'm Melanie DeHerrera. I'm the manager of the Rural Program. Graduation is probably one of my favorite times with the students. Um, we all get together, we'll take a group photo. Um, it's so amazing to see them after, you know, the last four years of medical school and really be able to commemorate this amazing journey that they've uh, made it. I'm Roberto Silva. Uh, I'm the assistant director of the Rural Program and a family medicine physician. There have been over 200 graduates of the rural program. About 40% of them end up in rural practice in a number of different specialties. About 40% of our graduates uh, go into family medicine. Out of 160 medical schools in the United States, there's only about 30 or 40 that have programs similar to what we have. Some go way back older than ours, many are newer, but we are frankly recognized as a good program and as a national leader in uh, rural training. If there was a student that was thinking about joining the rural program and they came and asked me for any advice or guidance, I would say absolutely 100% sign up.